Hello everyone, welcome back to another instructional video on technical drawing and today we're going to be going through the CXC study guide um, for technical drawing and that is for the upcoming CSEC examinations so we're just going to be going through some lessons I'm, I'm going to be doing like different videos so um, stay tuned for all the videos so you can follow along with them okay um, first thing you're going to need is if you can pick up this book this is the technical drawing study guide from your local bookstore that would be great and you can follow through everything in this book it gives you detailed instructions on everything um, related to technical drawing and once you have gone through this book um, you should be ready for your exams okay so we're just gonna be going through some videos on it um, in terms of instruments you're gonna need a geometry set um, doesn't have to be this one but this is basically what you need um, let me just put it to the side here uh, these are the pads of the geometry set. This is what we call a compass. So you're gonna need a compass. You're gonna need a pencil. Mechanical pencil is preferred if you have a regular pencil which you sharpen. That would be also, you know, good to have. Um, you're gonna need a ruler or an eraser first doesn't have to be this small you can get a regular um, eraser from the store also um, you're gonna need a ruler regular ruler uh, with centimeters if you can get one with centimeter and millimeters that would be great also um, next thing you're gonna need is a protractor this is what you call a protractor right here it has um, degrees from 0 to 180 if, if you can get the half moon protractor that would be great this one is a 30 60 30 degree 60 degree um, set square um, some people call it a triangle um, it's usually called a set square and the smaller angle is 30 degrees and the larger angle is 60 degrees and it is not to be confused with this one which is the 45 degree set square okay right here 45 degrees 45 degrees 90 degrees both set squares have 90 degrees on them at the top and this one has 60 30 and this one has 45 on both sides so um, we'll be using all of these items so make sure before you start any drawing you have um, these items readily available okay okay so back to the study guide and I'm just gonna show you um, the important information that is included in the study guide um, let's go to the contents and in this book you have um, different um, topics that we're going to be covering um, geometrical figures in equal equal in area to other figures reducing and enlarging plane figures um, if you don't know the different geometrical figures I suggest that you go online and you look up you just have to type in geometrical figures um, plain geometrical figures preferably and then you'll see all the different types okay I'm preparing to produce technical drawings and um, there are certain things that you have to do in order to prepare um, before you actually draw the objects on the paper okay so you have to know that also dimensioning drawings dimensioning basically means putting um, measurements to the drawings okay so if somebody else takes the drawing they would know okay this line is three centimeters six centimeters 
3 inches, 6 inches, okay? So it lets you know. Um, next thing we're going to be doing is producing, reading, and interpreting scale engineering drawings. So scale drawings are drawings that are either reduced or enlarged compared to the, the real life figure. So if you have an object that is um, like a building and it is in real life 100 feet by 100 feet, you can scale it down or reduce it to a more um, feasible um, size so that you can actually look at it, okay? So we usually reduce it so it can hold on a, a, a large sheet of paper, which is smaller than a building, and that way it makes everything more manageable, okay? Um, the next thing we're going to be doing is pictorial drawings okay so pictorial drawings are mostly 3d drawings and there are different types of 3d drawings such as um, perspectives you have isometric oblique drawings um, and what I do what I suggest that you do is just um, go through each one of these Google go to go to Google and just type them in and then you'll have an idea of what we'll be going through Okay, so um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you have an idea of right here of the contents that are in this book, and then we'll try and go through as much as possible, okay, through different videos. All right, um, yeah, that's it for now. Um, in the next video, we're going to be doing starting geometrical figures right up here in area equal in area to other figures. So if you have a geometrical figure, um, you, convert, you can convert it to another geometrical figure and it will be equal in area, okay? So um, that's just a brief introduction to what we'll be doing. So stay tuned for the next video, all right? See you later.